Hi, this is Tanya. I'm coming to you with a rather easy, I think, uh, canning recipe. It is for cucumbers and onions. Now, I do it, uh, if I'm going to eat it like right away, I'll put tomatoes in it as well. But since I'm planning on canning it, I'm just going to do tomato, uh, cucumbers and onions. And here are my ingredients. Of course, I have onions. I've chopped these up earlier. Uh, if you, uh, I did a, I can another canning video for some red onions. So, look for that one. But here's some extra onions that I had cut up for that. Here are my cucumbers. I have those cut up already. This, like I said, this recipe is really, really simple. I got this from my aunt. And all you need is equal parts vinegar, and this is white to steel vinegar, and sugar, and this is just regular white sugar. You season the taste. I have a teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of um, kosher salt, as well as a teaspoon of uh, celery seeds. So like I said, you're just doing equal portions of everything. And what I'm going to do is put my vinegar, put my oven on, my stove on, put vinegar in there. My sugar. Oops. My spices. You're just dumping everything in here. I'm stirring it all up together. And what you're doing, you're stirring it until the um, sugar dissolves into the vinegar. But like I said, you're doing equal parts sugar and equal parts vinegar. And once this dissolves and heats up, I'll be adding my onions and my cucumbers. And we'll come back and show you what that looks like when we get to that point. Okay, so um, it's been over five minutes. As you can see, my onions have gotten wilty or a little bit translucent. My jars are already hot. I kind of knocked them over when I was taking it, taking it out. But anyway, so we're, now we're going to start, um, start the canning process. And remember, you always want to do hot and hot. And since this is um, my aunt's recipe, I'm not sure how much this would yield, just to be honest with you. Because normally when we make it, we're making it for that same day. Or this is usually something we have, you know, like one of the holidays. We have uh, cucumber, onions, and uh, tomato. Okay, let you tell me. What did that mean when you say holiday? <laughs> that would, that for, really, it could be in holiday. And then you can also do this during the summertime. It makes a great summer salad, just so you know. And I'm going to base it on the other items that, um, that you can are similar. And they always said leave and half inch headspace. So that's what we do with this. Let's see if I can get some more. Onions or whatever in here. Let's see. I don't got too much in there, but let's see. And remember, you always want to debubble. That's what she wrote. And I have my little vinegar here. 
you're using your vinegar, vinegar to wipe down around your rims. You want to make sure that there's no sediment or anything that can stop your lids from adhering. Because what you don't want to do is think you have a good seal and you don't. And when you go back to eat this, you have sealed botulism. That's not good. And you want to do this finger tight. And we just put that back into the camera. Like I said, too bad we don't have smell of vision. I know people say that all the time. I said, what are you talking about? It smells good. Brings back memories for me. And again, you put in as much cucumbers or onions that you would like. It's all personal preference. But my aunt said, you do you want to do, as far as the sugar and the vinegar, you do want to do equal parts sugar to vinegar so it's a one-to-one -one ratio and for those of you that don't know what one-to-one -one ratio is if you put in a cup of vinegar you put in a cup of sugar if you put in two cups of vinegar you put in two cups of sugar that's one-to-one -one. the little feel it it looks like you got an old feel of it. Yeah. Take some of that out. Nothing that's done can't be undone. Again, remember you always the bubble. And with that, what you're trying to do is get out any air pockets. Or as much as possible. Or as much as possible, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with the headspace on that. Because it's impossible to get out all the air. So I've been told. Mm -hmm. Again, you wanna wipe your rims. Plants and animals have uh, air in them, so it's, it's impossible to get all of it out. All right, Miss Science, me. Well, you know, I'll count on the nerdy side. We know this. That might be the smart. Finger tight. And be careful because these jars are hot. Okay, you can. Hi, beautiful people. I'm coming to you to show you the uh, conclusion of my cucumber onion salad mix that I canned. Uh, somehow or another I ended up losing that footage. I'm not sure what happened. But anyway, I just want you to see what it looks like after it's been canned. These jars are cold, by the way, or room temperature. I did this a couple of days ago. And when I went to download, that's when I saw my footage was missing. But anyway, I just wanted you to see how pretty they are. Anyway, and um, I don't know if I said it on the other video or not, but it yielded four quarts. So, but that's what I was able to get. I just wanted to follow up with you so that you can see what you can look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have an awesome, awesome day.